Today we're taking a look at version 150 of the Lightphone 2. This is a huge texting update. Let's get started. If you're new to the channel, my name is Jose, and here we talk about digital minimalism. So if that's something that interests you, make sure to subscribe. Life from users get to rejoice today because version 150 is amazing when it comes to the texting experience. As you guys know, if you have been watching my videos, the Lightphone 2 has difficulties with the texting experience. If you don't have Verizon in the United States, and if you're not in the United States, it is very difficult to get images. It is very difficult to type long messages. You may make a lot of mistakes, but this has been corrected with today's update. The first big thing is for international users. We have now special characters, at least a couple more special characters. If you long press the A, the E, or any other vowel, or any other letters like the N or the C, you get access to special characters. And now as an international user, you're able to type that. There is still not support for right to left, but you know that is something that maybe will come in the future. The second big upgrade is that you have a movable cursor now. So whenever you're texting or typing, you're able to move the cursor from place to place. And if you made a mistake, you don't have to delete the whole message and start all over again, but now you're able to correct mistakes very easily. The implementation is very smooth and you're just able to tap and delete and fix the mistake that you made. I am very happy with the performance. The third thing is that you're able to get messages to your email. So you go to settings, to your account, and whatever email that you have set up with the light phone, then you will get MMS, you will get images from groups and everything else to your email. So this is a great advantage. So if you were kind of having those difficulties when it comes to the light phone too, then this is the perfect moment to buy it. The holiday season, they have a discount right now. So I think it's great because the device keeps getting better and better and the directions to is hopefully coming now in early 2021. Now there is a couple of different upgrades when it comes to the rendering on the text messages and that you are able to see that it works better. It's a little bit slower, but it is better and more accurate because the font size increased at least by one number. So it, it's a little bit bigger, the spacing is a little bit better, so you're able to make less mistakes. And I would rather trade off a little bit slower rendering when it comes to being more accurate on text messaging. Now, the second part of this video is kind of like a mini tutorial and I don't want to if you were here for the update then this is it but if you want to stay for a mini tutorial on how to get Google Maps or any other Android application then stay for that. So essentially I've been able to craft a method in which you use a couple of extra applications you need to access the Android side of things on this one and you're able to access one application at a time. Right now I have set up on my light phone a podcast application because I listen to a lot of podcasts and I have a GPS unit, so I don't need Google Maps. But let's say that you want to have Google Maps on your phone. Well, essentially you need to access the Android layer. There's a video on that on the internet. I'll make sure to put it in the description below so you can follow the steps. And after that, you install a couple of applications, a key bu button remapper and also virtual soft keys. And then you're able to use the volume rockers in order to remap different applications for that. You need one of those to be the settings. Mine is volume down and volume up for the settings and then volume up and volume down for the application that I want, which is a podcasting app. So essentially you remap the buttons and you have access to this. Now, every time that you want to access this application, you have to follow a couple steps. It is a little bit cumbersome at this point and I'm trying to make it better so stay tuned for that but as of right now it works pretty well and it allows me to access one application so if you want to have the light phone and Spotify if you want to have the light phone and Google Maps or the light phone and one other application that you need or that you want in your personal life then you're able to do this through the Android method that way you're still able to keep the light OS the main way that the phone was designed for most of the tools that it has music podcasts and hopefully in the future directions and all of those things but if you want a specific app like WhatsApp yeah, like Spotify, like Google Maps, whatever it is that you necessarily want or that you need for your job or for different things, then you're also able to remap it and use it on the go if you need it really badly and you're not able to wait. I think this is a good compromise. And honestly, I've been enjoying it because uh, I've been using this podcast application that I personally like, and I'll be able to remap it to other things in the future. So make sure to check the guide below. I made a text guide and I'll probably update it with pictures in the future. But if you need any thing or you have any questions, make sure to drop them down below. I always interact with you guys. So just let me know what you guys need and I'll see you in the next video.